Thank you very much. Number 21 in the uh, written program is um, unfortunately not present, so we continue with the next speaker, which is Gary Brown from the Sanford Burnham Medical Research Institute in the USA. And he will talk about etchable plasmonic nanoparticle probes to image and quantify cellular internalization. Hello, everyone. Thank you. So what I study is targeting of nanoparticles uh, using peptides developed in the Rizlati lab at Sanford Burnham Medical Research Institute. Uh, we're located in San Diego, California, USA. So the core of the particle that we use is a silver, which enables a simple bright tracking modality. Um, using fluorescent dyes uh, attached to the surface, the silver enhances their fluorescence, and we can use single uh, particle tracing to watch the internalization occur into tumor cells in vitro. Um, the size can be controlled, so we anticipate a study of um, size-dependent internalization, as well as the peptide uh, density on the surface should be important for receptor media endocytosis. So the system that we developed is a, an etching process that allows the discrimination between in, internalized and non-internalized particles that we can then uh, image and quantify the amount of particles that got into the cells. This should be an important parameter for development of um, siRNA delivery vehicles, for example. Um, so the, the chemistry for etching, as described um, in B, it's, it uses a mild redox agent that dissolves the core of the silver. The dyes fall away from the surface, as well as the peptides. Um, avidity is lost. Everything uh, that's not inside the cells uh, will float away or be washed away. Um, the reason that only the extracellular particles become etched is because this redox agent is highly charged and is not able to permeate the membrane. Um, so in, we have a confocal image. Confocal is typically used to image uh, internal versus external by Z-stack. Here we can use the chemical method to um, not have to do a Z-stack and just take a plain image. Um, what's unique about this system is it can be applied in vivo, actually. So you can inject particles, you can circulate, target the tumor, and then inject the mild etchant. And in, in a living mouse, the, the particles which are in tissue but not yet in cells will be um, dissolved away. So in histology, we can visualize the particles that remained and verify that um, they are internal. Um, we can use the technique then to follow the kinetics of internalization in, in a live tumor model. So now we're testing different peptides and, and using the method to um, monitor the tissue penetration pathways and, and gain a little more insight into that process. That's it. Thank you.